Good evening, everyone. This is the 18th day of the ninth month of the year, slowly but still in a rapid way, winding up the month of September, which seems like it just got here. And then all the seasons, greetings, and what have you, and the New Year's coming up very soon with the Winter Regional. There's so much activity going on in the Surge 365 Vortex family. We want to welcome you. My name is Cynthia Reed. My husband is detained for the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and try to play his part, too. We usually say Ken and Cynthia Reed, team builders from Muncie, Indiana. And we are so glad that you joined us on tonight's weekly Sunday leadership call with Team Synergy, led by the illustrious, intelligent, beautiful Lucretia Daniel. And she is beautiful on the inside and out. If you don't know Lucretia, you will get to know her very soon. She is one of the founding members of Surge 365. She is one of the folks who, over the career that she has had in the past 11 years or so, amassed at least $1 million in earnings. He is one of those people that's driving, if not one, a couple of company cars. He just goes from one end to the country to the other and across international borders, just reaching out and teaching all of us who want to seek that better life that we can share the same blessings with other people. And she is one of those people that's won one award after the other. She's just tearing it up out there all over the airports and terminals where she checks in. I believe she's in the East Coast now. She's not on her way back. But we know that Lucretia has, as people say, a heart of gold. And we don't just say that. She really, truly does. Always looking out for the best in everyone and wants to reach out and help however she can. So do not take her things that she knows for granted because she is a wealth of information and very personable as well as our personal director. So I want to, without continuing on with the accolades, because there's so many, I just can't say enough about her. Miss Lucretia Davis-Daniel, if you're on the line, girlfriend, shout out to us tonight. Hello, I am out here, Cynthia, and thank you so much for that great, great, great introduction. But ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, and if you've been reading your email, that comes out from <coughs> the King Synergy um, email blast. I am in New York, and today we are actually on, right now I am out here on the river. Uh, we're on the Hornblower cruise, and it has been, been absolutely amazing. It's probably about 30, 40 of us that's out here on this cruise boat, filled out with people uh, cruising around. Uh, Manhattan taking some great pictures, and I'm going to get those out there. You'll see them. It seems like we came so close to the Statue of Liberty, we can just reach out and touch it. I've got those pictures. I've got pictures of the new um, um, a, a monument that came up, you know, from when the World Trail Center went down. But one of the most exciting things that happened today, and this is just like being in the right place at the right time, I guess. Because one of the gentlemen said, he said, Lucretia, it seems like every time something wonderful happens, you're right there. And I said, what? He said, you know, the president is flying in, and the helipad is right about a, a thousand feet from where we are. And we saw everything got shut down, and we saw, uh, it was just amazing the way those big shoppers came in. You know, like three of them ahead of time. was like, oh, that's the one the president said. That's the one he said, no, 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 I was in the military. I know that that's security. And, you know, when we looked around uh, where we were docked and before we took off, you could see the tall buildings and you could see everything was in place for this man to land and come here to talk to the folks about the bomb that happened last night in, 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 uh, in New York. And it was just amazing. And we said, no, that's his helicopter right there. So I got pictures that I'm going to put out. But, then, you know, he went on, and, and I'm really, I wish we had a, a television here so we could have seen, you know, the motorcade and everything that we were witnessing uh, in Persia. It's just exciting. It's exciting to travel. It's exciting, ladies and gentlemen, to just be a part of this industry, to be a part of what we're doing, and to meet people. You know, everybody here is meeting people on the boat. They know what we do um, in, in travel. And we're meeting folks. There's one lady, she said, I, I got a number. I really got a number. I went up to a couple and I said, hey, you know, we're in travel. We're here. This is a part of something that we're doing on a great Blitz weekend where we had a boot camp and our president 
came in yesterday, and we're growing, and we're expanding in New York, and I'm looking for a power couple. And they said, what? But well, we're looking to make some extra money. And people are giving their numbers up and say, please call me. You know, the few people that I've talked to here have tapped me several times and said, don't forget to call me, don't forget to call me. And I said, I'll do you one better right now. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my mobile app, and I'm going to send you some information right now. And our next contact is going to be about what you like best about what you saw. Thank you, Doug. I'm telling you. We're at a period of time right now that is just absolutely amazing. You know, I'm looking every day. Every time I look down, I'm expecting in my email to get an alert someone is joining the team. A platinum membership, a platinum membership. Yesterday, um, the people that came to boot camp up here in New York, I was doing the the registration so I can let everybody go in the room because I, I was in boot camp in Atlanta last week and I didn't want them to miss anything. Um, and but, uh, um, there were so many new people. I said, okay, what's your uh, what, what's your ID number? I don't know. Where was it? No, who would have come in your welcome email? Where's the welcome email? I said, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. You look it up later, you can get back. I want you to get in the room because I don't want you to miss any part of what uh, Chris Oakley is talking about. And I'm talking, they are so excited. One lady came, she, she's only been in two weeks. She brought five new people with her. Guys, if you're not getting the results you want right now just because you're not opening your mouth, you're not asking people, you're not sold out. We got to sell out. We are going to be that $30 billion company in the next three years. And you need to make a decision that you're going to get your share. You're going to get your share. Guys, on this team, we have some of the strongest leadership. And I just want to see you all step up and take your rightful place. I want to see you get back into the activity. you got to. Because if you're not inviting people to our opportunity, if you're just sitting back, you're just on the sidelines. And you got to make a decision. Am I going to be on the sidelines? Am I going to watch? Am I going to clap for the next millionaire? See, it's not going to take 10 years. I've only been in 10 years. And uh, and, and, and part of the time, you know, getting to the million dollars in 10 years was very, very part time. That just goes to say that the opportunity exists. But I'm telling you, we're going to be having people making a million dollars a year. And I'm telling you right now, watch out, watch out. The next regional that we have, you're going to see people walking across with $10,000 bonuses. You're going to see people walking across the stage with $50,000 bonuses. Do you know it only takes 100 points to get that $50,000? And don't tell me that everyone on this line couldn't use 50 grand. And we've got time. You've got between now and November 14th, which happens to be my birthday, so give me a birthday gift. I'm giving myself one. I've already mapped out. See, when you break it down, when you break it down to the lowest common denominator, when you break it down to the numbers, you know, what is it? 100? That's 10 getting 10. Find you 10 people that want to go to work. You know, find you 10 people. And you help them find 10. And guys, we do a call. I don't know if Jennifer's on the call tonight, but I'll tell you what. We pour our hearts into that call every day at noon. And at 10 p.m. And people are, are recruiting people from that call. And if you aren't putting 10 people thinking of what 10 people am I going to put on this call today? Who am I going to text the number out to? You know, everybody on this call has an individual role of over 200. But most of you have been in the business for over 10 years. You've got past guests. You've got past members. You've got people who, who have, who have um, maybe gone by the wayside. Put them on that call. Because all we do for 30 minutes is talk about the company. We talk about the products that we have. We talk about how we're going to go out to the marketplace and how we're going to get our share. See, right now, we're in a political place right now, you know, and people are worried about who's going to be the next president. You know what? It really ain't going to make a difference. It really is not going to make that much of a difference. Because you know what? We've got to show people how to claim their own economy, how to create their own economy, how to be a part of whatever. See, when I think about What's happening? And you talk about uh, Republicans and Democrats. You know, one is right and one is left. It's just two wings of the same bird. And it's been that way throughout history. If you read your history, if you read back and see what has happened. You know, the country is the country. There's no absolute power. This isn't a dictatorship. But we can dictate what we want to happen in our own lives. As we've got to go out and we've got to capture it. We absolutely do. And when you've got economic power, when you've got the resources, you can change things. You can change things in your own family. You can change things in your neighborhood. You can change things in your church. You can change the circumstance of what's going on in the community. You can give. You've got something for money to do something with other than, you know, lip service. So put your money where your mouth is. Let's try to make stuff. That money is sitting out there like gold nuggets. We just got to go grab it. I promise you, it is just 
that easy. It really is. You just got to make a determination that you're going to do it. Yesterday, Chris Copeland talked, and he was a little more passionate in, uh, in New York than he was in Atlanta. And, you know, for whatever reason, things shift. You know, light bulbs go on, the crowd gives you energy, um, people, you know, spark off your energy from the questions or the demeanor or just smiles in the, in the audience, you know, and he, he, he just talked about what we can do and how we've got to go do this and how he, as a 19 year old, just needed to make some money and wasn't going to go um, up under the, the, the working for someone else. See, you're either leveraged, you're being leveraged. Or you can flip that around and you can leverage. You can get paid, leverage the income. And this is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. See, the last 10 years of my life is just the last 10 years, and I've been here. But I was, you know, I've been alive a lot longer than 10 years. And I've been through some situations. And I've seen some things happen. I've been to other companies. I've been to top of other companies. But it didn't tell you like this. Because people were always, you know, shifting things around. There was always a catch. Here, there's no catch. Hey, the catch is that the money is out here. We just got to go get it. And I'm telling you, our founders are trying to figure out every possible way to almost put the money in our hand. Give it to us. Just show it, giving it to us. But guys, we have really got to go out and show them that we want to help this company expand. Right now, we don't even have 25,000 people. You know what? In the next two years, you can have that. You can be a presidential director. And all it takes to be a presidential director is 25,000 sales of counters. And do you know the $99 sales count? Do you know that you could go out and you could talk to people about becoming a travel agent for $99, getting the Swift in the door, getting the travel credentials, making relationships with vendors all over the world? I know Victoria's going to come on in just a second, but there was a gentleman that got invited out yesterday. He was a guest. He's in a wheelchair. I don't know if he's on the phone right now, but he's excited about coming in. You know, he's excited. You know what he's excited about? He's excited because there are he can become an accessible um, 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 consultant or, or certified to CLIA to our company, and he can show people who are handicapped how they can they can travel the world. They're not trapped in that wheelchair. He's, and I'll let Victoria tell you the conversation because I did ask her to come on the line. Uh, before that, though, what I want to do is I just want to give a shout out to everyone who's out there who's put somebody in, who is participating in us being a double digit uh, recruiting team uh, every week. And, you know, we, we um, I'm telling you, um, Coach and Scott and Chris at the home office, they're taking notes on who's, who's recruiting. And they're putting something together. And I know that you know people who want to come in. I have people who say, Chris, I've got folks who are interested. Well, they're interested, let's get them in the computer. Let's show them what we're doing. And I want to just congratulate. I know last week we congratulated Ken. He went out and he called us. He's going to double call us this week. I know there are people who, who've been needing one or two for the last month. And all it is is a, is a decision that I'm going to call it. I'm going to double call it. I'm talking. The priest is talking here. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I've had more bonuses than anybody else on this phone. More one thousand dollar bonuses, more five, more uh, ten thousand dollar bonuses, and, and you know, and gonna get that fifty thousand dollar bonus. Yeah, I, I'm I'm putting it out there because I know what I can do. I know what I used to do in other companies, and it was amazing. You know, what I used to do in a month, we would get paid. I mean, I would, we would get paid. I would be getting paid much more if I was had, had this conversation plan at the level that I was operating. You know, back then, fifteen years ago, with that other company. Oh, wow. I'll tell you guys some stories one day. You can read it in my book. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, don't sleep this one. Now is the time. When you talk about momentum, when you talk about the wave, the wave that's going to take all of us out and up, it's here now. We got to get on it. See, it might not be here tomorrow. You never know what might happen. Things happen. Freaky things happen every day. It's crazy in this world. And right now, we've got an opportunity of a freaking lifetime. And we've got to let people know about it. We really do. So let's go out and do that. I did ask Victoria to come on the line because I knew that I would, wouldn't be able to hear you all. And I know you're probably hearing that bump, bump, bump in the background. Hey, I'm as far, I'm as far away from the DJ on this ship as I can get. But we're still hearing the music. So I asked Victoria to come on and talk to you guys about, uh, just give some pointers about what Chris talked about yesterday. 
Um, last week, I talked to you about who to recruit, and, and I talked about it on Juliet's call. I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Victoria Falk right now um, and let her talk to you about some other pointers and the gentleman who was in the wheelchair who came as a guest, who got to meet me, who got to meet Chris, who got to meet some other of our, uh, our leaders um, you know, in the company and was just so very impressed about what we have. And, you know, he kind of put it all in perspective for me. And I'm thinking, why am I sitting on this? You know, when you got somebody who is, um, who is coming and they're expressing themselves in this manner. And then the new people who were there yesterday with the sparks in their eyes and the smile on their lips. And this reminded me of the way I used to be 10 years ago, 8 years ago, 7 years ago, 4 years ago these days. You know, just excited about going out there. Talk in the world is what we have. That's what we have. And every, every um, boot camp, jump school, guys, we had people that flew in, that drove in hours to get here for the boot camp. It's going to be at the next one. It's going to be at the next jump school. So you decide where you want to be, what you want to do, how you want to contribute. And then you make a decision. And let's go out here and get it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn it over to Victoria. And Victoria, you can do your part. And then if you would, turn it back over to the Reeds and let them close out. And with all that right, being said, all, right. all right, all right, Victoria, <laughs> take it away. Yes, and thank you so much, Lucretia. Isn't that awesome? Now, I know you all heard what I heard. You mentioned bomb, right? <laughs> <laughs> there was bombing in New York. And when I call my director, Lucretia Daniel, I'm worried about her safety. I'm trying to get her out of New York. She's like, but I got to get to the cruise. <laughs> Had it been me or anybody else, it would have been like, okay, so where was the bomb? Uh, how quickly can I get to the airport, get on out of here, get back home? <laughs> but that is what we call commitment and dedication, folks. And what is so awesome about events like this boot camp is not only are you getting great information to help you build your business, but you get a chance to experience the heart of your leadership because it takes an awesome leader to travel back and forth. I mean, I'm starting to think Lucretia has a, um, a little house or a you know, condo out here in New York. She's been to New York so many times this year. You know, and for Mr. Christopher Coakley, the president of our company, to come to New York, you know, out in New York, we appreciate events like this because unlike a lot of cities, we don't have a regular monthly event. We don't have a lot of weekly meetings. When you go to a weekly meeting, there's a handful of people in there. So when the leaders come to town... When the marketing directors come to town, the president comes to town, we are so very grateful, so excited about getting that information. So we had Lucretia Daniel all the way from Atlanta. We had Jeannie Sharpless from Richmond. And yes, we had President Christopher Coakley. And he was on fire. And you could see how passionate he is about what he does how passionate he is about training us. And that's what he stressed, folks. He stressed living well. You know, not just the, the search life, not just for the business, but living a good life and letting your business be the icing on the cake. He talked about getting fired up, you know, in life and in your business. We have a lot of things going on with this company, and they're constantly adding more things to win. He mentioned the new videos for the mobile app. Folks, if you have not taken a look as yet at the new videos, you want to do that as soon as possible. The company is making it easier for you to win. So take a look at those videos. But as Lucretia said, you know, one of the main things that he spoke about was the need for us all to master the art of recruiting. Now, when you talk about recruiting, we're talking about getting people to join us in business. Not just getting that money for the application. Not just getting the money to get them in, but getting them to join us where they've become that member, where they actually see themselves with 
in and they're actively involved. But you want to recruit because people are out there looking for an opportunity. People want to earn income. And he mentioned, you know, with Surge 365, we offer people the opportunity to save money. We offer people the opportunity to travel more. And all of that's great. But the reality of it is, a lot of times we fall back to that because it feels easy. It feels easy to tell someone, oh, join me. You're going to get reduced wage bips. You're going to get savings. But take the time to let people know about what we have so that they can own it. And like she mentioned, the gentleman who came yesterday, he didn't have a lot of information about our company before he came. He had a desire to sit there and meet the leadership. And based on his experience with the leadership and understanding that our opportunity would give him a chance to live a full life, you know, where he didn't have to feel trapped in his wheelchair. And he was able to think about how many people that he can help being able to give them an opportunity to travel and experience the world without boundaries. How awesome was that? And to let you know, you know, we had a chance to have lunch with Mr. Coakley and our directors. And the lunch area, unfortunately, was not wheelchair accessible. They had the steps there, so the gentleman was not able to get into that direct area. I went over to Mr. Coakley and I let him know the situation. Do you know he stopped eating his lunch so that he can come and greet this gentleman at his wheelchair and to speak to him and give him information about our company? Do you know Lucretia Daniels stopped eating her lunch, come over and greet this gentleman? That's the heart of our leadership. And based on what he experienced from them, the compassion, the caring, the genuine concern about him. He was ready to join, and he's joining us. You know, so just let you know that that is so important. But when you're recruiting, just know that it's a better way to prospect and set appointments. Recruiting is a better way to sell. You know, you don't have to go out there and convince people to become travel agents or convince people to travel. Because when you think about those of us who are in the company, guess what we're doing? We're traveling. You know, once we become members, we are traveling because we're experiencing that 100% price match guarantee. We're experiencing um, those wonderful deals. So when you recruit someone into the business, yes, they will travel. And you will find your agents after you get your recruits. Recruiting is a great way to get referrals. As you're meeting new people and you're bringing people into your business, you're asking, who do you know? People are making their list. Mr. Coakley suggested that for each person that you get into your business, that you ask them to make a list of at least 40 or 50 people. And when you do that, folks, you always have a warm market to tap into because you have your own personal warm market, but then you have the warm market of each one of your new recruits. So you have an endless stream of people to talk to. When you are constantly recruiting, it gives your business persistency. You constantly have something to strive for. There's continuously something going on in your business, and that is what you want. You want to keep the momentum going in your business, and that's done by recruiting. Awesome way to have unlimited income. To recruit because we're getting paid each time a new person comes into our business and we're getting the ability to have those unlimited bonuses those unlimited thousand dollar bonuses being able to earn the ten thousand the fifty thousand all these different bonuses 
businesses that are on the line, folks. When you look at other opportunities that are out there, they don't all have that compensation plan that we have. So you want to take advantage of that. Share the opportunity. Folks right here, right now are hurting. And to give them a chance to earn unlimited income, oh my goodness, that's powerful, folks. You want to share that. Recruiting provides security, right? When you are constantly bringing new people into your business, you feel safe and secure that your business is going to thrive. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, losing your downline or losing your three and three or losing your qualifications because you are actively bringing people into your business. And that's what you want to focus on. Focus on building a business. We are all a part of Surge 365. That is our head company. However, you're building a company within the company, right? You have your business that you are building within Surge 365. And how powerful is that for you to be able to brand and to build? Now, the thing is, folks, take notice that the number one recruiter is always the number one producer long term and the number one money earner. So those are the things that Christopher Coakley mentioned to us because people that are actively recruiting, they tend to be hungry, right? They're hungry for more. And you don't have to tell them to strive to win a contest. You don't have to tell them to push for a bonus because it becomes a habit. It becomes who they are to want more and to push for more. So you want to be that person. Because right now, we have so much more on the line for us to get. So get into the habit of recruiting. And the thing is, another reason to constantly be in recruiting mode is so that one day you don't have to. Imagine yourself building a large organization that's bringing you residual income, right? That's bringing you those um, monthly bonuses that we're talking about with a surge 365. That you get to the point where, you know, you're out of Juliet St. John. It is definitely possible, folks. You know, when we think of Ms. Juliet St. John, our awesome marketing director, right? Now, she is able to sit back and relax if she wanted to because she has such a large organization that's bringing in an awesome residual each month. Each and every person on this line within the sound of my voice can do the same. You just have to go to work. And the beautiful thing about Surge 365 and our marketing directors and our president, Mr. Christopher Coakley, is that we're always encouraged to press the restart button. Doesn't matter what you did last year. Doesn't matter what you did six months ago, six weeks ago. Right here, right now, folks, get fired up about your business. Get passionate about your business and press that reset button and decide that you're not going to settle for less. Decide that you're going to be excited about being excited and choose to do more for your business. Do the activity so that you can win, folks. And you want to win. That's one of the things that Chris Coakley spoke about during the boot camp. A lot of times as leaders, we tell our teams to do things and we're not doing ourselves. You know, the number one way to get your team to be excited is for you to be excited and let that excitement spread. You want them to recruit, 
You want them to prospect? Guess what? You go out there. You prospect. You bring in new team members. And let them see the excitement and the energy exuding from you. And let it spill over. Right? Let them see you winning. Let them see your name on that com club list. And be excited. Say, hey, everybody, I got a bonus. Let's have a, a, a contest to see who will be the next one to get that $1,000 bonus. And let them be motivated by the fact that you did it. And they can feel secure in that you know how to do it because it was done. And another way to excite folks, look, we have that the cruise contest for Costa Mel, Mexico. And as Mr. Coakley said, whether you want to go to Costa Mel or not, you need to win that cruise. That's an awesome way to motivate team. Now, folks, please pay attention to the wave break because the requirements of the contest have changed. You need to have registered for the cruise in order to be eligible for the contest. That's a, a new requirement. So if you have not as yet made a deposit on the Costa Mel Cruise, you have to contact Surge365 tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, you have to contact um, Christina at Surge365.com. That is E-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-A at Surge365.com to book your spot. And then they'll be able to... Um, you know, reimburse those folks who have their spot book and who actually earn those bonuses to qualify. So remember, folks, it's three bonuses between now and November in order to get that cruise for you and a guest. So between August 5th and November 3rd, it is possible, folks. You know, just got to get to work. So if there's anybody on this line, if you have not had the opportunity to get to a boot camp, you want to make sure that you do so because the information is definitely something that's going to help you get to the next level in your business. They're talking about how to get excited, how to get the life back in your business. Talk about how to set goals. Set goals that are achievable, you know, for your life and for your business. And they talk about um, the difference between prospecting and recruiting and why, folks, you really, really must master the art of recruiting. If you don't remember anything else I said tonight, focus on the fact that we are mastering the art of recruiting. And once again, if there's anybody on this line where, you know, you have difficulty following up, it's a challenge for you, um, definitely you want to get on that mobile app. Not just for those folks, but for everybody that's on the call. You want to get your prospects into that mobile app. And if you're not familiar with how to use the Business Opportunity Funnel, once again, there are some awesome new videos to help you through the process. So you want to commit the time to do your business. So folks, definitely it's been awesome sharing the boot camp with you. And I'm going to turn it back over to the wonderful Ms. Cynthia Reed. All right, thank you so much, Victoria, for all of that great information. Thank you, Lucretia, as well. And now I'm going to turn the call over after such an inspiring call to a man who inspires me and so many other people, my husband, Mr. Kenneth Reed. Take it away. Well, once again, we want to thank you, Victoria, and we want to thank you, Lucretia. You know, it's just so important that we have such great leaders in our business. And we want to thank everyone for being on the call this evening. And what we'd like to do is just to remind you to share this, the replay for this call. The number is 
5. And the pen is 708414 and the pound. Once again, 712-432-1085. And the pen is 708-414 and then pound. And in closing, we want to say once again, be bold, be beautiful, and, and be blessed. Thank you all so much. We'll hear you on call next week.